Greetings, my warriors. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the new Solaris 7 game mode introduced today. My opinions on it and what I'm happy and not so happy about. Solaris 7 puts you and a teammate in 1v1 or 2v1 deathmatch. The rewards for playing is like what you get with quick play, that is C-Bills and XP. In addition, you get accolade points with your chosen sponsor, which is somewhat similar to loyalty points in faction play. Accolades allow you to increase the level of payouts from the matches, which I assume to mean C-Bills. You also get visual add-ons called Boltons. The Boltons carry through to non-Solaris game modes too, so for mech warriors who want an extra flair for their mechs, it can be a popular incentive, until everyone else gets it that is. Five new Solaris-only maps are used in the game mode, and before the start of the match, you and your opponent can ban maps. I believe each player can choose two maps to be eliminated. Let's start with what I like about Solaris. First, it should be clear that brawlers are generally going to do better here than any other build type. None of the maps are big, which makes them brawl friendly, and only the factory has any kind of real terrain features that helps a faster mech with longer range weapons kite slower brawlers. If you're a slow brawl mech, you simply need to eliminate the factory during map banning to avoid facing off with an enemy that's trying to avoid you. Currently, in an organized QP and FP, brawling is fairly weak and Solaris allows you to take out the Atlas for a spin without feeling guilty about it. What's been working for me, as you can see, are LBX, SRMs, and small pulse lasers. The only match that I've lost today was when I was experimenting with a 9 NPL's Black Knight, which required too much face time and didn't have enough sustained DPS. Secondly, mechs are separated into divisions based on how PGI predicts each mech will fare in Solaris. So if you've got like a Hunchback 4H collecting dust somewhere, you can actually take it out and have a realistic chance of winning in Division 6. By the way, I'm linking the division breakdown in the description below because it's not easy to find on PGI's website. Third, the ELO system is going to help keep players who are more competitively minded. When you first start playing, you'll be pitted against random opponents, but when your ELO increases, you should start seeing players who are better matched for you skill-wise. For 1v1 or maybe 2v2 matches, this is a far better system than PSR, which is experience-based. It's also better than misusing ELO for 8v8 and 12v12, which is how PGI first attempted to do skill-based matchmaking. Unfortunately, each of the above points also has a downside. The brawl-focused nature of Solaris limits the gameplay variety that you'll see. A number of playstyles are viable in QP, from Daka to Laser Bomb to Light Harasser to longer range sniping on certain maps. But Solaris is going to be simply brawl after brawl, which can get repetitive after some time. Furthermore, we have already have a sort of a brawl mode in FP scouting, although it's limited to medium mechs only. A 1v1 brawl also eliminates some gameplay elements that separate MWO from generic mech games, like positioning and predicting the enemy's movements. In QP, committing your brawler at the right time and location is a skill, which certainly isn't needed in the Solaris arena. I feel that this brings MWO closer to not just other mech games, but other arena shooters in general and I question whether the intent is to salvage the current MWO player population or to get new players and retired players back into the game, which is what I think MWO really needs. The mech division system is a good start to creating good matches, but it's certainly not perfect. Right now, especially within the larger divisions, there is a big disparity between the quality of mechs. For example, in Division 2, we have an Ebon Jack potentially facing off against a quad LB10 KDK3, which I don't think is a fair matchup. Moving mechs up and down may eventually solve this problem, but if PGI is doing that manually, it's going to take a lot of work for them. Which is why I think the mech to division mapping should be more fluid, perhaps even automated from game statistics. Lastly, the ELO system should appeal to the more competitive-minded players. By competitive-minded, I don't necessarily mean the most skilled, because you can have average skill but still be driven to win. But what about the casual players who just want to LRM mechs and play bad builds for half an hour a day? I think Solaris will have limited appeal to them. In QP, both the competitive and non-competitive players have a place. The tryhards try to carry, and the casuals just get to shoot stuff without thinking too hard. What Solaris does, I think, is to take PGI resources away from another game mode that I think they should be working on, which is faction play. I think I speak for most longtime players out there when I say that FP has been a huge disappointment. And it was the thing that would have made MWO into an epic game if it was designed in a proper space conquest and resources based game mode. I could certainly talk a lot more about what I would like to see in FP, but maybe that's the topic of another video. For me, I think I will occasionally play Solaris, but it won't be the primary way that I enjoy MWO. I don't think we've quote unquote figured out Solaris yet after a single day. 
but I'll definitely keep you guys up to date when I find out things that differ from my initial impressions of the game mode. By the way, if you enjoyed the sort of music in the background of this video, I started a channel where you can stream my transmixes. I've been making full CD mixes since around 2002, and of course I get no money or anything out of it. It's just for everybody's listening pleasure. I'll link that channel in the description below, and I also hope you enjoyed this video as well. Make sure to subscribe for more NWO content, including mech reviews, strategy guides, and gameplay. I'll leave with a bit more Solaris gameplay, and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now. Hello, this is Duncan Fisher. Today's Battle Mech gladiatorial match is coming to you from the aptly named Coliseum, courtesy of House Steiner. Two mechs enter, one mech leaves. Which one will it be? Let's find out. My arena senses are tingling on this one. These mech warriors are so close to each other in the standings that it's impossible to call the winner early. <laughs> 